Okay, let's now look at chemical reactions. A chemical reaction is a process in which substances called reactants are being changed to produce new substances called products. So examples of chemical reaction, we have the first one, sulfur plus hydrogen give you hydrogen sulfide. Okay, so sulfur and hydrogen is going to be the reactants and hydrogen sulfide is going to be the products. Okay, there are a few general equations in chemistry that we should memorize. Let's look at the first one. Metal plus acid will give you salt plus hydrogen. In this case, again, metal and acid is the reactants, while salt plus hydrogen is the products. The salt over here actually refers to an ionic assembly of cations and anions. It is not the everyday salt that we actually have. So for example, if we have iron plus sulfuric acid, it will actually give us iron sulfate plus hydrogen. Iron sulfate here is the salt form from the cation from iron and the anion from sulfuric acid. Let's look at the other example. Zinc plus hydrochloric acid give, gives us zinc chloride plus hydrogen. Again, zinc chloride will be the salt that is formed between zinc and hydrochloric acid. Okay. The second general equation that we should memorize is this one. Carbonate plus acid will give you salt plus carbon dioxide plus water. So an example will be calcium carbonate plus nitric acid. It actually gives us calcium nitrate plus carbon dioxide plus water. Calcium nitrate here being the salt that is formed. The other example, magnesium carbonate plus sulfuric acid. It will give us magnesium sulfate plus carbon dioxide plus water. Okay, again, magnesium sulfate is the salt that is being formed from this reaction. The third general equation that we should remember is this one. Alkaline plus ammonium salt, it will give you a salt plus ammonia plus water. An example, we have sodium hydroxide plus ammonium chloride. Sodium hydroxide here is an alkaline. Anything with hydroxide is an alkaline. Okay, so... This one will give you sodium chloride plus ammonia plus water. Sodium chloride here is the salt that is formed. The other example, potassium hydroxide plus ammonium chloride, it will give you potassium chloride plus ammonia plus water. Again, potassium chloride is the salt that is being formed here. Okay, another equation that we should memorize is this one. Acid plus alkaline give us salt plus water. Okay, this is actually called a neutralization reaction. So an example will be hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide. It will give us sodium chloride plus water. Again, sodium chloride is the salt that is being formed in this reaction. The next one, nitric acid plus potassium hydroxide. It gives us potassium nitrate plus water. Potassium nitrate here is the salt that is being formed. There are actually many, many other reactions in chemistry. Let's look at other examples. We also have this reaction called oxidation. This is actually a reaction with oxygen. So an example will be copper plus oxygen. It will give you copper oxide. 